Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Wednesday the 7th of April 2021, the Wednesday of Easter week. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, who is on a week's break. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us by our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O Lord, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional hymn is set. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 104, starting at the first verse and then the 21st verse, is, I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons and the sun to know the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there are more creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that Leviathan, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it, you open your hand and they are filled with good. When you help hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A short scripture reading from Revelation chapter 22, 
verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Alleluia, the Lord is risen, alleluia, as he promised to you, alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen, alleluia, as he promised to you, alleluia, alleluia. Gracious Lord, we thank you for all that we have taken part in today. We are grateful to you for the grace and the love that you show to us and all of your creation. And we bring to you those people who are on our hearts, for whom we have concerns. And we do this in silence. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this service of Night Prayer and Compline. Uh, we will be with you again tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for morning prayer. And there will be a service of Night Prayer and Compline tomorrow evening again at six. Have a quiet and safe night and know that God loves you. Amen. <laughs>